All right, everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. And first and foremost, you might be wondering where about where I am because uh, this isn't the usual sort of setting for these videos. I'm just trying something out a little bit new, a bit of a new location, uh, just more relaxed, chilling out. I've got myself a beer. We're just going to chat a little bit about what exactly is going on at Manchester United in this video and if Jose Mourinho still has a future at Old Trafford. So let me know if you like the new setting, if you want me to do more videos here, a bit more chilled out, let me know in the comments section. But if you do want to see more of these type of videos on the channel, make sure to drop a like on the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. So at the moment at Manchester United, there's a lot of negative feeling coming out of the club. Uh, there's a lot of falling out within the club. You've got the board that's falling out within itself. You've got the, the distance between the board and the management. Then you've got the distance between the management and the actual players. And then you've got the players who are distancing themselves from the agents. And then you've got their agents having a pop at former players and pundits. And it's just a complete and total mess, which pretty much was summed up nicely with the horrendous display against Brighton and Old Albion on, on Sunday afternoon. Coming out of that game, a lot of fans were blaming uh, Jose Mourinho. He, they, a lot of fans thought his time at United had kind of reached its end, that he'd lost the dressing room. And I can kind of see where they're coming from on the basis of that performance against Brighton on Sunday. But I personally feel there's a lot of other problems at Manchester United aside from Jose Mourinho and if we were to get rid of Mourinho who do people actually want in because as far as I'm concerned the board haven't backed Jose Mourinho at all this summer and I don't think that any manager can come into Manchester United and be able to win things with this board that you're, you're essentially having, having to be manager of one of the world's biggest football clubs with two hands tied around your back with the financial strictness that the, uh, that the board and Ed Woodward are putting on any manager, let alone Jose Mourinho, that stands in that Manchester United dugout. And yeah, I agree. Jose Mourinho hasn't helped himself with his kind of attitude and his snipey little comments in the press conferences, uh, mainly over the summer, really. But who's to say that he hadn't already given his list of plays he wanted to sign to Ed Woodward and the board, and the board immediately shot them down and said, you're not going to be able to have those players. I mean, if, if you are going to get a manager on a new contract, which United did, they signed Jose May up to a two-year contract extension only in January of this year, if you're going to do that, like Gary Neville said on uh, Monday Night Football, you have to go then and back your manager. You cannot get him to sign a co new contract and then when the summer comes, when he wants to actually bring in players to make the team better and more formidable and to actually mount a serious title challenge, which whatever negative feelings anyone's got against Jose Mourinho, he is a winner. He wants to win, whether that's winning in a pretty fashion or winning in a in a in a scrappy fashion, which we've certainly been doing over the last couple of years. I'll completely completely agree with that. And it's no real surprise that this has come, all this mess has come, whilst Alex Ferguson, who is a prominent member of the Manchester United board, is that not there to put any of these stupid actions from the board out of the window. It's no real surprise that he's been recuperating from his uh, from his illness, his brain tumour that he had or whatever it was uh, over the summer. And it's no real surprise that things have completely fallen apart with Ferguson not being there to kind of oversee things. And I put the question to you guys, if you do want Jose Mourinho to leave, who do you get in, in, char in place of him? You've, as far as I'm concerned, you've not got that many many options, and they've all every single option has actually got negatives against them, and that was the case when Mourinho came in. There was no perfect ready-made replacement for Ferguson in the, in the managerial world. There just isn't. Even Jose Mourinho, who was probably at the time the closest to 
a perfect fit for Manchester United at that point. And he's even had restrictions placed upon him and not really been all that successful. He's been still been a success, in my opinion, but he's not reached the goals that I think even he would have set out when he first came into the job. And as far as the candidates that could potentially take over from from Mourinho, I'm thinking Pochettino, but there's there's obvious negatives against him. He's never actually won anything at all, aside from a pre-season tournament this pre-season. Yeah, he's done a lot he's done a lot of good work at Tottenham developing young talent and also operating on a shoestring budget, which I'm a bit concerned may play into his favour with the Old Trafford board because they're not going to want anybody to come in and splash the cash. And Pochettino's been working wonders with not much cash from Daniel Levy and Spurs. The other main options, you've got Zinedine Zidane, who's been largely touted as the replacement for Mourinho if the Portuguese manager does move on. And again, there's as great a player as he was, and I know he's gone and won three Champions Leagues with Real Madrid in the past three seasons, uh, but you've also got to look at his le their league form, Real Madrid. It's been appalling, the league form, especially in the last year as well. It's been terrible. And let's face it, he's won three Champions Leagues with arguably the best team in, the, in Europe, if not the world, and with one of the all-time greats up front for him, banging 50 goals in every single season. It'd be a bit difficult not to do well in a cup competition with that sort of side. And I'm not slagging Zidane off. It's a terrific achievement to get three back-to-back -back Champions Leagues and it obviously takes a lot of managerial ability for that to happen. But I'm not entirely sure whether he'd be able to transfer that success over to Manchester United with the restrictions that Jose Mourinho has had to deal with. And I just don't see that happening. And other than him, who is there really to bring in as Manchester United manager? As far as I'm concerned, there's not many at all. It's a real conundrum to see who would come in for Mourinho if he did end up leaving. Let me know in the comments section who you think would be the replacement or would you keep Mourinho? I personally would keep Mourinho. I don't think getting rid of a manager willy-nilly is the answer. I think we've had too many of too much turnover in both players and managerial staff at the club since Ferguson left. I mean, we've had David Moyes. He brought in a whole new uh, training, coaching crew. Then we had Louis van Gaal, who did exactly the same and brought his own, own men in on the coaching staff and his own players. And then we've had Jose Mourinho, who's done exactly the same, brought his entire crew with him over to Old Trafford and brought the players in that he, that some of the players that he wanted at least. One of the things that does spring to mind with that in mind, the uh, amount of turnover we have had at the club in recent years is how much the players have kind of been let off. Because a lot of these players have seen off David Moyes, Louis van Gaal and could potentially see off Jose Mourinho. Now, there's a, there's a point where the players have to take some responsibility. And that time is no. Because whether you get along with the manager or not, that's not that's irrelevant. The manager is there to guide the club. He's not there to be your best friend. He's there to get the best out of each and every player and get the most out of the club. And that's exactly what I feel Mourinho is trying to do. Yeah, he's gone about it weirdly in some in some aspects, but I just think there's a lot more factors at play just than Mourinho's not a good fit. I really do. And sadly, the writing's been on the wall, especially with the board, for about the last 13 years. I mean, I was, believe it or not, um, knocking about when the Glazers first came in to Old Trafford. I was a season ticket holder then. And... The, the the there was a little bit of an uproar then, but you could even even as a even if you weren't getting involved in the protests and and the and the and the fans that kind of didn't want the season tickets and didn't renew and went and formed a new football club uh, in FC United, there was you could still there was just a bad feeling around the club and that's hung, that's hung around for so long 
And the only reason this hasn't occurred sooner is because Alex Ferguson was able to do absolute miracles with the with the pittance that was given to him by the Glazers. And the reason we went on to win to appear in three Champions League finals in the space of four years is because that team was primarily built before the Glazers came in. And it's no surprise that since that team has kind of been dismantled around about 2010, 2011, we've only won one league title since then. And I think this is potentially the start of us going down a really bad road. There's a lot of rumours that the Glazers are happy for us just to get fourth, uh, similar to the Arsenal fiasco where they were just happy to get fourth in Champions League football because if you think about it, the main money for any football club comes from the Champions League revenue. And there isn't that much, you don't get that much more money from finishing first than you do fourth. And the amount of money that you have to splurge on players to make up that ground, a lot of clubs will feel that that's not worth it. And a lot, of, at least from a business point of view, anyway. Obviously, us fans, we want to be winning, and the players obviously should be wanting to win, and the manager obviously certainly does want to win. But it's unfortunate that we are being run as a business rather than a football club. And unfortunately, I can see a lot of business decisions being taken with Manchester United that really don't benefit us in the long term on the pitch. But like I say, it's a, it's a myriad of factors. There's a, there's a long word for you today. A myriad of factors that are, that are at play with Manchester United at the moment. And I honestly don't have an answer. I wish I did. Uh, I'm sure you guys wish I had an answer and I'm sure you wish at least anybody would have an answer to how to fix this and I just don't see one. I don't see one. I feel that this, and I know it's only two games into the season so I'm not going to write it off completely but there is a very big possibility that this could be a long, hard season and it's just, I just don't know where we're going to end up. I don't know where we're going to end up because we don't even know if Pogba's going to be here at the end of the month. We don't even know if Mourinho's going to be here at the end of the month. So many things are up in the air and we need some stability and hopefully that can come, or at least the start of it can come against Tottenham Hotspur because if we don't win that, there are going to be serious questions being asked of both the players and the management and the board. What do you think is the answer for Manchester United? Do you think it's as easy as getting rid of Mourinho? Do you think it's a, a problem that's higher up with the board? Do you think it's a problem with the players? Let me know in the comment section what you think is the issue and how you would go about sorting it out and getting us all on the same page. Uh, I, wish I, had, I wish I had more optimistic news and more optimistic things to say, but at the minute it's not a... It's not a happy place, Old Trafford, at the moment. I'm sure uh, I'm sure you guys can, can sympathise with me on that. But as for this video, if you do want to see more of these type of sit-down chats on the channel, let me know. And also, smash the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. I'll be back with another preview for the Tottenham game, probably on Saturday morning. And other than that, lads, I will catch you guys next time.